let us take a look at how Bluetooth can completely disrupt Wi-Fi. I'm doing this test on my Windows 11 desktop computer with the Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 wireless network card. I'm associated to 2.4 GHz on a Cisco 9176 access point. What you see in the background is Aronia RTSS Suite Pro and I'm using the Aronia Spectrum V6 Spectrum Analyzer to show you this demo. So to show you how the Bluetooth scanning can completely disrupt Wi-Fi, we need to do an iPerf first. So we do it for 200 seconds and we get a reasonable speed on channel one, uh, 30 megabits per second here, not the best, but okay enough for a video meeting, for example, if um, you use 2.4, that is. But let's play a game here. Let's say you misplaced your headphones and you need to connect your fancy new Bluetooth wireless headphones. And you go to scanning and look at what happens on the waterfall on channel one when I look for my new fancy headphones. I go to scanning and wow. Now we drop to five megabits and my iPerf almost stopped. And yeah, it's so bad. Every single time you, you do a Bluetooth scan or any other application on your computer triggers a Bluetooth scan and you are on 2.4, your video meeting may even stop or buffer, or maybe your video starts to get a worse quality because your speed drops down to like three megabits. This is essentially a jammer. You are essentially jamming yourself. It's so hilarious. Uh, think of this, uh, think in a bigger office environment and multiple devices are doing Bluetooth scanning and it's sending out signals at a really high uh, uh, transmit power. So maybe don't use 2.4 for your enterprise clients. Uh, that is why we use 5 and 6 uh, gigahertz. Because every single time you do the scanning, you will completely disrupt Wi-Fi.